How to make a car selling website on Wix. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a website special for car rentals into your favorite platform of creating websites, which is Wix. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over Wix.com. Then you are going to head over here at the platform and signing into your uh, account. If you don't have an account, I highly recommend you to sign up. So once you are on the website or you have uh, signed up for the first time, you're going to see here the Wix uh, recommendation for creating a website within the two options. We have the Wix Studio and we have the Wix Editor. If you have already some websites, you're going to face here the site's dashboard. So let's go ahead here and start creating a website. Now, as you can see here, we have the option to use Wix Studio or Editor. I'm going to use the Wix Standard Editor. And then we are going to head over a page that will give you the chance to work with the chat of AI. For example, if you want to start the chat, it will ask you some uh, simple questions and your answers is going to be based on the chosen or how to choose a template. It will go ahead and filter uh, your uh, search or your templates that you're going to ha have the access to. So in my case, I will go set up without the uh, AI. So once you are here, you're going to see here that we have the uh, choice to uh, search for the business type or the site type. We're going to type in here, for example, car rental. Then we are going to see here the suggestions. So we are going simply to head over the most convenient one, which is the first one. We're going to choose car rental. Then we are going to select the, for example, the first one, which is the company, car rental company. We're going to click on continue. Now it is going to be preparing the dashboard of yours. And this dashboard is the control center of everything uh, here related to Wix website. So the first thing that we are going to do here is to head over here the title. So we are going to put a name for it. For example, Jack's rental uh, like that. Then we are going to click on continue. Now, these are the steps that we are going to uh, set up because here we are going to set up the dashboard. For example, if you are going to set up the, um, the car as rentals, you need to be installing Wix stores and also Wix booking. And those are going to take a little bit of time from you if you do them manually. So we are going to get the help here. We are not going to skip them. So we are going to set it here. Do we already have an online store? I'm going to set here. I'm just starting out, for example, or you can go ahead and set this. I am going to set here the product that I'm going to sell. Let's say that we are going to sell services. Uh, here, maybe we are going to sell digital products or physical products. Then we are going to click on continue. Now, how are you offering your products? For example, here you are going to put online store, in person, and marketplaces and social media. So we are going to click on continue. Boom, here we have it. Now we are going to access the uh, uh, edited dashboard, as you can see. So now we have set everything. Don't forget to here uh, set up the steps or the upcoming steps. We have nine steps, as you can see. Go ahead and set them up. For example, you're going to set up here the payment methods, add the first product or service. For the shipping and delivery, you can go ahead and set some profiles or you can go ahead and ignore those. And the design site is going to be the first one, which is editing a new website. Here, you're going to sell your product on sales channels, which are the social media or the partner platforms. Get found by or by Google or customers on Google. You're going to add here uh, Google My Business or Business Account of Google. 
and you can discover wix enterprise just for fun click on explore and you are going to automatically set up this now we are going to click on design site now how would you like to design your website this is the first questions that or the first question that will face you you're going to have here two steps you can go ahead and continue with a step for now or setup for now and ignore all of these you are going to get uh, the uh, standard website or you can go ahead and click on customize a template you're going to see here uh, or browse the templates that are available for you for example we are going to click on pick a template then we are going to see here the uh, most convenient and recommended uh, here uh, templates for you for a car rental company you are going to see here a lot of very convenient ones for you go ahead and choose whatever suits you well we have three pages i think yes we have three pages but not all of those are convenient. So we have here, for example, home delivery and etc. For the first one, it is the most convenient ones. For example, here auto express like that and etc. So this is for the step of setting up here the um, the template within uh, this. I'm going to let you see here if we can go ahead and be back here we have it and generate a design with the ai we're going to click on generate a design with ai now we have the preview and we have the brief of the website now it is going to generate a website that is going to contain here everything about a car rental company so for example from the header to the template to the footer and also the pages and here we have the site brief based on your site profile jack's rental your core rental company site will have a site structure which includes one page it content its content will be uh, generated based on based on your site description your theme will feature modern fonts and etc here we have as you can read here the um, uh, specialty or the generated images from here as you can see boom here we have it you can go ahead and put this for example specific item or this specific website or you can go ahead and make it a little bit different for example if i click on a little bit different we're going to get another site brief and also another website but we have here the same features which is include one page only uh, uh, here based on the site description but the layout is going to be changed as you can see here we have a white layout or white background but the images has been slightly modified so we have here the uh, the fleet or, or the product section or the cars rental section and services etc so when you see this uh, or this is a fit website you're going to click on continue with the design and here we have the option to let's go and uh, get this domain so i'm going to continue to the editor because the domain is the last thing that i am going to need we are going to wait for the website editor to respond now we have the website ready as you can see here we have all the element loaded we have the product page or the as you can see here uh, the collection page we have the service section so i'm going to click on quick edit and then i'm going to change the color of it to something more convenient maybe something like this gray or i'm going to make it like that let's see if we can change the text for example there i'm going to make and see if we can put it as gradient so i'm going to edit it i'm going to go with this one so here we have it this is just an example now for the about section you're going to put here uh, your information here it is poor in images so maybe you are going to put here a lot of images go ahead and put a lot of images right there for example three or four images i don't know because i see it as a little bit empty we can go ahead and get the uh, ai2 right there you can go ahead and generate a new image 
for example i'm going to uh, ignore that so let's see we are going to duplicate the image put it here and also we are going to duplicate it right away for the third time so this is to the middle boom and then you can go ahead and see the footer here we have a footer that is empty we can go ahead and add the uh, policies for example term of services and etc now here we have the logo it has created a logo for us as you can see now for the left side here we have a menu and this menu is going to be here the element adder we have here the uh, section adder you can add a section and choose wherever you are going to add the section it is a drop down or drag and drop menu we have the page selector and also the page creator you can add a page from there see your pages visit for example the home book and the shop page you are going to see them uh, here independently so as you can see here we have the filters we have everything now we have also the app or the app market or there you can go ahead and add whatever you are going to see here for example we have map and store locator uh, here we have social media icons we have a lot of uh, apps you can go ahead and choose whatever app that will suit your needs right there you can see here and see the categorization from them we have here the uh, site design you can modify the color theme the text theme the page background transitions and etc we're going to see here the media and everything you can from the elements add for example image buttons strips uh, gallery embed codes and etc and boom here we have it and this is how we can create a rental uh, website so here for the dashboard you're going to add the services for example i'm going to let you see here we are going to head over the page we're going to see here the product page then you can add for example here the uh, car the photo of the car and add the rental with their uh, price add to cart and ignore the ship that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one